Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this episode is going to be up about our, uh, we call it the Dubai Commission. Uh, this is our first car that's actually going to Dubai, first Gullwing that's going to Dubai. We have another one there, but it's the Speedster, the white Speedster Porsche. Um, this will be our first Gullwing going to Dubai. The gentleman ordered it a little while ago, earlier this year, and he had some specific requests, which we like. Um, you know, each car is unique, each car is different, so with his specific requests, it was definitely different. Um, this color combo is one that we've used before just in other cars so it's Nardo gray on bright orange leather and as you guys have heard in previous episodes when you use the orange the Lamborghini orange there is no vinyl that matches it so the entire car is leather it's a full leather job and I, I prefer it that way anyways um, I think it came out amazing the color combo is just very very classy at the same time it's very in your face and it's a uh, uh, originally he wanted to do a convertible version but you know a month or two into it he decided to do the gullwing doors and I think he made the right decision so we're about uh, three four days away from shipping this car out and we're just doing kind of the final touches of course we have Mo here who's just the man without him we can't do anything and he's you know doing whatever he does and he's doing it right so uh, we'll kind of take you around the car a little bit show you what the differences are and as you can see, there's no tail lights yet, but the car is pretty much complete at this point. It's just putting it back together. And uh, we had some, some issues with the paint and they were big enough issues to where we had to repaint the entire car. So we just got the car back three days ago and we only have so much time to finish it as the customer wants his car and I don't blame him. Um, so the theme with this one is gonna be Bijan. That's the gentleman's name. So we have Bijan all over the car and um, I think it came out amazing. Uh, Joe from California Pulse Street definitely did a great job with this one. He's done a few goalings for us now and every one that he does is totally different and this one is no exception. So uh, I really like the way he did the headliner on it. I really like pretty much everything that he did on it. Um, we went with an Audison system again and I want to give a shout out to Audison. We haven't really done that in the previous episodes. Their sound system is just uh, bar none the best thing I've ever heard. The stereo sounds like the person singing is standing right next to you you know that's how clean and crisp it is so moving forward all of our cars will will use that system it's definitely pricey but worth every penny and and it's just so much better than anything we've used in the past and we're somewhat audiophile so we kind of know our stuff we you know we've used them all but this one is just by far the best So uh, we're working on this car and you know this car was actually supposed to also be ready for SEMA but the uh, the paint shop kind of kind of dropped the ball on this one and as a result it's still here um, but we should be done in three or four days and we should be off to Dubai to deliver to the customer and hopefully the quality of the work will make up for some of the delay. Uh, we also we have a lot of people working on this car just to get it done. Uh, one of them being Casey. Casey is involved in pretty much everything, and at the moment I think he's putting the. Uh, uh, this is the extra external terminals. So whenever they have the car, you can trickle charge the car with these these terminals. So we're just making it easier for like the clients to to just keep their cars charged up and ready to go whenever they're they're ready to drive the car. Because usually most of these cars they sit around for a while. And, and when, they en when they're ready, they can just hop in and go for a cruise in Dubai, actually. Yeah. This one. Why do you guys put it on the outside? Uh, we, we put it on the outside so it's easier for the clients to just put a trigger charger on uh, without having to open the hood or open the trunk or get to the battery. So it just makes it life easier for them. Um, so you don't, never have to do any maintenance on the car at all. So. And another reason is that generally the batteries are covered with either like a, a suitcase or, you know, we, we do something to cover the batteries up and it's hard to get to. So 
another thing is that this car has actuators all over the place. You know, everything opens with a button. So if your battery's dead and your trunk's, uh, your battery's in the trunk and it's on an actuator, there's, you know, there's no really way, no real way to open it unless you start taking stuff apart, and no one wants to do that. Uh, for the most part, the people that buy these things, they do sit around a lot. They don't drive them that much. Some people put them in their living room and then never drive them. And then there are some who drive the hell out of them. You know, we had one client who put thousands of miles on this thing over the summer. So it, it all kind of depends, but having a, tr uh, a charging point outside of the car just makes life easier for everyone. Most of the people that buy these things have huge collections. Most of their cars are on trickle chargers already. And if you look at large collections, a lot of the times you'll see wires coming out of the trunk and it's just wires everywhere. So this will, this kind of cleans things up and if the car's dead, you can just give it a quick jump and get to it pretty easy. And generally they'll go somewhere under the car that's easy to get to, but you can't see while you're driving. So, uh, but like I said, the color on this car is, is amazing. We've used a lot of Nardo grays. Uh, our first gullwing was actually Nardo gray, but it had a blue interior. And we were debating on blue or orange on that car, and, and obviously, you know, both of them look nice. I like the orange a little better. And what I really want to highlight on this car in particular is the interior. The interior is badass. I mean, it's, it's every time we give a car to Joe at California, it seems like they get better and better. And he kind of knows this platform already because he's done quite a few cars with us. So he just gets more and more creative. Uh, still the same basic outline, but but they're all very different and they're all, you know, every time they come back here, I'm always surprised at what I see. So we're going to go ahead and show you a lot of the interior. Uh, Casey will kind of explain some of the features and uh, answer some of your questions that, that might pop up. Yeah, so right now, like, we're putting all um, the lip kit, the carbon fiber lip kit. Uh, that's what Mo's doing right now. Uh, adding all, like, the, <clears throat> the final details, uh, especially, like, the brakes. We're trying to keep everything, like, OEM, so we use a lot of the stuff from the SLK to make it look like it just it just came from the factory, from the Mercedes factory. <clears throat> another feature, another feature that we like to add to these cars is the Marchal fog lights. They're they're we're used in the 50s on Gullwings, on Speedsters, on Ferraris, on a lot of cars. They're very popular, and we're literally finding. We're finding new old stock Marshall fog lights, which is almost impossible. But there are people out there who've just saved them over the years. The boxes, when they come here, are old as dirt. You know, you can tell how old these things are. But uh, we think it's a signif significant feature on the car. It really helps the whole out, uh, the entire look of the car. But it also looks right at home because they they were doing this in the 50s. So we go out of our way to find these fog lights, and uh, you know, a lot of people can't take them apart but we were able to actually do that put leds in them and modernize them a little bit but just wanted to point that out these are true marchal fog lights we try to buy as much factory stuff as we can because at the end of the day it's a gullwing you know you can't you can't do anything wrong on this car because it it stands out right away here we are just uh arrived in dubai what an amazing place i mean i love coming here it's just amazing Everything is over the top, and uh, especially for the car culture, it's there's nothing like it. It's almost it's almost boring because there's just so much cool stuff. You see it all day long. It's kind of like it's not it's not as fun as it is here because we don't have as many cars uh, that are fixed up. We're here in Dubai. Cars just landed. Let's put them on a truck and get them home. So here we are uh, picking up the cars that just got off the plane, Emirates Cargo. They did a fantastic job getting the cars there safe. We're loading it on the trailer and I'm about to take them away. We also did this deal where we bought this Rolls Royce from the actual Bijan company in Beverly Hills. And because our client's name is Bijan too, he bought the car and uh, we picked it up had a little fun in it and then I uh, shipped it over. So we didn't really do anything with that car other than get it cleaned up and get it here safely. It's a pretty cool car, it's one of one. A lot of custom interior work that was from factory. Here we are making a custom car cover, also a Bijan car cover for this SL. Here we are just enjoying our one day off that we had on the boat. What an amazing place again.
Okay, so we're here in Dubai. Uh, we came to deliver the, the Bijan Gullwing. And the registration here is a little different than maybe what we're used to. And at the same time for them, they're not used to seeing a Gullwing that's registered as an SLK. So it's been a little bit of a process. Um, and it's taken basically like four days to get to the point where we're at, where we're just about to get it registered, get plates for it, be able to put the car on the street. And had it not been for our friend Mo, uh, it probably would have taken three months to get to this point. And he's really just gone, gone above and beyond and helped us out in the most tremendous way. So uh, as a uh, thank you, we decided to buy him a car that he's been talking about with us forever. He's a car guy. You know, he likes a certain car. It's a car he can obviously afford, but it's just something that he doesn't have time to do. So my brother decided to go out and find this car, and boy, did we find a car. Uh, this is a red 05 SL55, uh, previous owner being the Sheikh of Mahmoud. And it's got 50,000 kilometers on it. It's the cleanest SL55 I've ever seen ever. Uh, one owner car, it's just, it's immaculate. It's the nicest one I've ever seen. Um, so we got lucky we found the car. We uh, kind of went behind his back and didn't tell him what we're doing. We asked his brother to help to uh, make this happen today. And uh, so we just made it happen. We're about to, we just paid for the car, we're about to take it home. So congratulations, Mo. To the shake. Nice, nice, nice joke uh, you guys are no, making. No, 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 no. This is not This is not This is fucking crazy. This is exactly what I'm saying. It's the same prank. Whoa, what is this? No, no, no. Prank. So the prank, bro. This is your car, bro. I cannot. I told you guys. It's not possible. It's, it's, it's impossible for you. That's no. Yeah. Here's one of the hotels and that's just normal, normal everyday stuff. You pull up and there's, you know, five, six million dollars in cars parked out front. Here's us taking a little break on the boat with some friends. car here's the final pictures of it which turned out so amazing probably my favorite one so far they fought us every step of the way but they almost all do but this one really turned out amazing I mean look at it I'm very very happy and proud of the crew for putting this thing together the way they did and uh, the guy Bijan who we built it for loved it just as much as we did and so did all of his friends I mean just look at it it's beautiful Pyron did all those pictures and that's the inside of our shop, and uh, I don't think a Goldwing could look any better than that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment below, subscribe. Until next time.